Sitting here, uh, getting about to go into work. And actually just, uh, I calculated out that I have about 60 shifts left as a nurse before I start medical school. Um, <clears throat> which brings up a lot of questions when I tell people while I'm going to medical school. And they always ask, why don't you get a nurse practitioner school? So, I'm gonna discuss why I chose uh, the MD, DO uh, way instead of nurse practitioner or PA. I have my reasons um, and, and they're right for me. They may not be right for other people. Uh, but we're going to discuss that and I'm hopefully going to be making this video completed uh, sometime this week when I get a chance. I'm getting over the flu at the moment. Uh, that's another joyful thing of working in the ER. You always pick up the crud going around. But I'm going to see if I can finish this video <clears throat> sometime this week and uh, upload it for you guys. It'll be my uh, probably my second video I upload uh, for my channel. Um, but yeah, talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so after uh, a few days off work, um, Finally, found the energy to uh, do some more videotaping. Uh, so I wanted to talk about uh, why I decided to go to medical school versus uh, the path of the least resistance, which would be nurse practitioner school for me because of my nursing background. Uh, one reason is. Um, a lot of MD schools are actually online. Um, they have their non-clinical years, which is mostly taught online. They do have like, uh, I think they call them like weekend intensives or week-long intensives where basically you go to the school campus and learn how to uh, access ports and put in central lines and stuff like that. Um, <coughs> But for the most part, it's online, and then you, you do your clinical years, or your clinical uh, rotations uh, in a hospital, of course, somewhere, or in a nursing home, or uh, a regular clinic. Um, but I'm not the best online learner, so I don't, I don't think that would be the best for me. Also, uh, they've moved towards this initiative over the last couple of years to make NPs doctorate level. So you're looking at going to school for three or four years after your bachelor's to get your doctor's degree in nursing practice. Uh, that to me <coughs> doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm going to go back to be a doctor but I'm still going to be at a mid-level. Uh, this has been something that the ANA has pushed for for a while. Uh, not entirely sure um, the reasoning behind it. I guess it's to um, kind of put nurse practitioners not quite on the same level as physicians, but maybe above PAs. I, I don't know. Um, maybe 10, 20, 30 years we'll see DMPs, DOs, and, and MDs all practicing at the same level. Uh, but uh, right now it's kind of a new, a new level of nurse practitioning. Um, and I don't want to go back to school for three or four years and still be a mid-level, as I said. So that's another reason why I didn't choose MP school. Uh, another thing is, uh, as a nurse, I've worked with a lot of great mid-levels, um, NPs and PAs alike, and they often are passed over for some of the more interesting cases and more critically ill patients, especially in the ER setting. Now, up on the ICUs, they have... Um, NPs and PAs that manage those patients at night in some hospitals, but uh, most of the time in a large teaching facility you're going to have um, 
MDs and DOs and their corresponding residents um, taking care of the, the much sicker patients. And I want to be able to take care of whoever I want to take care of, no matter what. Um, so that's another reason why I chose not to go the mid-level route. <coughs> also, I would like to uh, be able to teach and do research. That's not completely out of the question as an NPRPA, but I would like to teach medicine and maybe be a professor um, or a residency assistant director or director one of these days. So that's uh, a couple reasons why I didn't um, go the NP route. Um, well, like I said, there are plenty of people out there that have gone the NP and PA route and been absolutely amazing, and uh, but it just wasn't for me. Um, so yeah. So what is this channel for? And why am I making these videos? Well, I want to make uh, an archive, I guess, uh, just so I can go back and laugh at myself, probably. Uh, also, um, hopefully these videos will help people. I'm an un un a non-traditional student going back to school. I'll be turning 30 shortly after I start school. And I will be having uh, my first baby, first child, you know, the first stew right around the first week of school. So we'll we'll see when that family uh, decides to get here. Uh, so hopefully people can watch these videos and be like, oh, well, this guy made it through med school. Hopefully, um, and so I can do it too. So uh, that's one reason I'm doing it. Also, just to uh, kind of chronicle my life for the next three, four, five, six, seven years until I become an attending. I haven't really seen people um, make videos like that, or make an entire series at least, um, from start to finish. There are a couple people that will post, uh, here's my experience on an OBGYN rotation, or here's my, my experience with ER, here's my experience with my ICU on-call rotation, um, but I want to do the whole thing from start to finish. Uh, I start school here in about what, five months, four months from now, um, and at that time I'll start making more videos uh, more frequently. Right now they're going to be not so frequent just because I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Um, but yeah, we'll see if I can make a video yeah, every week, every two weeks, so I'm not that busy. Um, I hear medical school is kind of difficult, and I hear uh, parenthood is also a little difficult. So they're happening together for me, so uh, I may not have that much time. But uh, we're going to see if I can get a few of these videos out a month. And that's about it. Uh, yeah, so if you guys um, like what you hear, um, subscribe to my channel and I can hopefully entertain you along the way. Thanks. And just P.S. I am aware that some of the audio isn't matching up with my mouth, and yes, it annoys me too. I'll try to figure out how to fix it. Uh, this is the first time I've used this microphone and camera, so. I will attempt to fix this before the next video. Thanks.